Good afternoon, Brian Bamey, Elite Sports Medicine Physiotherapist. I am joined once again by my sweet daughter, Madison. Anything you want to say? <laughs> no. Okay, good. She's a woman of many words. <laughs> okay, we're so excited today again to show you some aggressive self-treatments for shin, for calf muscle. And our last little video, we did some exercise exercises for uh, post, uh, post ankle injuries. So these ones are great to go with that because oftentimes patients may not be able to be full weight bearing yet, but we can get after some of these areas that unfortunately are commonly tight and stiff, not just even after an injury. Oftentimes with athletes or patients just in general, these areas can be fairly tight and sore. So I'm gonna give you a couple of different versions. Pretty straightforward though, you should be able to reproduce these at home, but you'll need something like this. Now this is a lacrosse ball. It's a very hard rubber ball. Some patients use tennis balls. They're about the same size, but they're much softer. In the end, I don't mind if it's aggressive when you treat it, just make sure it's tolerable. I'll always say that, make sure things are tolerable as you do it. So my daughter is gonna help us out with this simple exercise. So Maddie, feet this way, sitting down. We're gonna show you the first exercise. Now this is for the calf muscle. And this first one I give you, is done this way because if a patient maybe has a knee issue, maybe for an older patient, and isn't able to kneel down, which is what I'm gonna show you in the next little exercise, the next couple exercises. So I'll just take this lacrosse ball, I'll put this underneath the calf, I'll be careful not to go underneath the knee itself, the knee joint, because it's just too much, uh, too much soft tissue in their nerves and arteries and things like that that can be maybe a little bit too irritable. So I wanna be kind of upper calf muscle, just below her knee, and then at this point, with the pressure on there, She's just gonna pump her ankle up and down. Just like that, that'll make that calf muscle have to lengthen and shorten, which for some patients, just the weight of their own leg is aggressive enough to make them jump a little bit. If you wanna be a little more aggressive, she could put this leg over top of this one, that adds some weight to it, that'll make it more aggressive and she'll probably enjoy that one. <laughs> Not so much, all right. If you wanna be more aggressive, get one of your dear loved ones, you can take that off now, to put a little weight onto it, which makes it even potentially more aggressive. So if you have, say, a spouse or a good friend that you want to get a better relationship with, it's a good one to do. So that's, that's perfect. And then from here, she'll do about five to 10 ankle pumps, and then we'll just move it down, and we'll do it again. A little bit of weight in there, five to 10, move it down. Five to 10, move it down. Now every time she moves it down, it could be an inch or two, depends on what you find. So just be cautious. Next one, Maddie, she's gonna have to flip over because we're gonna get this muscle group. So go ahead, Maddie, flip over in your stomach. So we're gonna get, just because it's on this side and her foot's a little bit off the table, so come down this way a little bit, Maddie. Good, right like that, good. So now I'm gonna get to this muscle group here. This is an important muscle group because like the calf muscle here, it crosses the ankle joint and if they're tight, it can affect the mobility that should be there in the ankle. So I'll come here, same idea as the other side, a little bit of weight into it, and then she's gonna pump that foot up and down five to 10 times. These ones can be surprisingly sore as well. A lot of patients know the calf muscles are tight. Not very many patients know that these areas are tight, this anterior tibialis muscle. And I just moved it down as you can see, and she's pumping her ankle it again. I'm putting a little weight in here. Maddie, that feels pretty good, does it? Mm-hmm. It's pretty sore, yeah. And I just hold that down. She's gonna pump that up and down. Of course, if she needs me to back off, she just tells me, which she usually does. Good, okay, so that's, that's without much weight into it. I'm gonna show you guys a way that you could do it on your own as long as you've got the ability to kneel down in a fairly low kneeling position. So Maddie, I need you to kneel down on that side of the table facing kind of towards Bernie here who's joined us again today. We're pretty excited to have him. So Maddie, scoot this way, scoot this way, scoot this way, and angle and face towards Bernie. Perfect, just like that, yep, yep, perfect, just like that, good. So the idea with this one then, is once again, her ankle's off the edge of the table, and for a lot of patients, I'll say, if you've got, um, you could do this on the stairs because her foot needs to be free to pump. As the stairs, she might kneel on a yoga mat or a throw pillow, something like that, to make it comfortable for her knees, something where she could have that ankle free to move. But I'll put this ball now behind here, as deep as I can get it into the calf muscle, and then she's gonna kneel back onto that ball, and it'll, it'll just sink that ball right deep into her calf, and once again, she is loving this, and then she'll pump that foot up and down. Remember, it is fairly aggressive. 
So please just be careful as you do it. You'll notice she's even leaning away from me a little bit. If I tell her she's a pansy and have her come towards me a little bit, that's gonna make it more aggressive. And then I just move it. She'll do five to 10 ankle pumps, then she'll move it. Five to 10, move it. Five to 10, move it. It does a good job for the main bulk of the calf muscle, but lower down, not so much, just because it's just too much of a muscle bulk in, the, in that area. But then I'll go to this front side again, and then she'll lift that leg up, and she could go hands down so she doesn't have to worry about her balance, and I'll put that right there on the outside of her shin again, and then it's her own weight that she decides how much is gonna go into it. If she shifts her weight towards me a little bit, which she won't like, it's gonna make it more aggressive, and then she'll pump that ankle up and down again five to 10 times, then we'll move it again, and she'll do it again five to 10 times, move it down, do it again. Perfect. It is aggressive. Please remember it's meant to be aggressive. This kind of exercise is only meant to be done two, maybe three times a week because of that reason. I hope that you've learned lots. I hope that you get some good treatment with this kind of aggressive style of treatment and please remember that it is meant to be aggressive so be careful with it but glad you joined us today have a good afternoon